Yo, yo, yo. We are back. Thanks for your patience during that brief intermission, Twitch chat. Glad to be back. Onward and upward. We need to find a wandering view. Let's get to it. Wandering view, so-called because this fungus can move slowly in the dark. It's been known to cover distances of up to several meters in a single night. Question is, have we had a night? <laughs> That's the trouble, ain't it? I think last I played, we actually were able to watch this thing move. Whichever plant it is. I'm not sure that we've even... I'm pretty sure it's one of these. The gills on the underside of this mushroom form beautiful flowing lines. They're also quite hard and sharp, earning this plant the nickname Fingersbane. I mean, these are the only two fungus that we have. But it is also possible that we don't have it yet. Let's take a look at these two things and see what we're working with. Not as spongy as most mushrooms. In fact, the undersides are somewhat sharp. Red spores protrude from the caps. Okay, somewhat sharp. That's consistent. It smells strongly of soured milk. Bad enough to make my eyes water. Oof. And I think this ain't a mushroom. Smells faintly of wood smoke. Feels like rough glass paper. What I want to try is... Um, exploring? Because perhaps that will give it a chance to move? Just hang out. <laughs> I'll be back. Don't worry. Don't worry, I'll be back. Let's visit another town. Where is our shop? That's a good question, actually. We are outside the town of Undermare, if I remember correctly. The question becomes, where's Undermare? Grassmare? Ambleside? That's where we went. Kintmare, Sedbeck, Endmore, Undermare. Aha! And I suspect... I wonder what this is. I kind of want to visit our own town. Okay, so this is the same stuff that we read in the beginning of the game. We were away. Did it move? Can you douse the candle? That's what I was thinking, right? I thought there was a way to turn the light off before, but you know, now I'm now I feel like I don't see it. I mean, I should trust my gut here, I think. Like, this is our plant. It's got a rough underside. It would be so nice to see it wander, though. I don't know, BG. Maybe we need to move it far away from the light? Okay, now we wait. It said it could move several meters overnight, so presumably it should be able to do this quite quickly. No sweat? I wouldn't blame you, Lucha. I never... I never expect to hold anyone hostage on the stream. That's certainly not a goal. Did we take note of where it was? I swear it moved. Yeah, and it, you you can see on the picture these little little dots, right? I think we just need to trust our horticultural instinct. This certainly appears to be our plant. This certainly appears to be our plant. Let's trust it. Use. 
Wandering view. Plant identified. Day ends. Book entry. Lady of Summer. The leaves curl round delightfully, which, combined with an attractive flower and a hardy nature, make this a sought-after ornamental plant. Aids with conditions of memory, deterioration, associated with old age. This might have been the plant that we picked from that forest grove. The northeast corner of that forest. We should check to see if it's a match. Let's also label this wandering view. I didn't see if it has medicinal plants, or medicinal qualities. I suspect yes, right? Because we just got someone wandering view. But I'm not sure what for. There goes the candle, so now it'll probably move. Man, they made me do it before the end of the day. It's kind of messed up. Okay, we'll see how much this moves. You know what? Here. Let's put it directly under the watering can as a marker. That'll work. It's the end of the day, so we could end right now, but I don't want to. Let's Let's try to identify some stuff. Bishop's parasol, a mushroom found in dark, damp places, feeding on any light that gets close to it. It can seem to draw light in, enveloping its surroundings in darkness. The gills on the underside of this mushroom seep a milky fluid that can be consumed as a treatment for stomach pains. We do not have this mushroom unless it's this. And it doesn't say anything about smelling of soured milk. You would think that they would note that if it did. Helps with memory? Is that what it said about the about the thing? Thank you. Butterdale? Often found growing in clumps on valley sides, Butterdale has been used for centuries as a cure for all manner of skin rashes. Dark green leaves can be stewed and mulched to form a poultice. The flowers smell buttery to some people. Dark green leaves, buttery smelling flowers. Dark green? Buttery smelling. And it certainly notes a leaf that has some crenellations, right? Like, so we wouldn't expect it to be this or this, but let's look and see what we're working with here. The leaves are coarse, okay. Has a sweet scent, like strawberry dipped in honey, okay. Small red berries, okay. Small leaves, delicate flowers. Flowers are made up of smaller blue flowers. They smell pleasant. I keep reading pheasant on first read. Is it this? The purple flowers have a light, buttery scent. Dark green leaves. Crenellation. Buttery scent. Looks like Butterdale to me. Sick. Milky fluid, it's true. Milky fluid, milky smell. It's true. Yeah, that's the thing, right? Silver Star, it occurred to me. It says for some people smells buttery, so I was like, there's a chance that we might not find the buttery smell, right? You're welcome, Lucha Ace, yeah. Clavillium. According to legend, clavillium can be used to open any lock, no matter how complex or secure. The heart-shaped leaves... I mean, this could be it. Here, let's mark this as clavillium in purple, because we don't yet know everything about it. That's a maybe. Those almost look heart-shaped but not quite. They don't have that dip. I dip, you dip, we dip. If we have clavillium, I think we found it. Farmer's Worry. A spongy mushroom with potent abilities, only safe to consume in small quantities. Grants sh great strength for short periods at the expense of severe fatigue once the effect has worn off. Spongy mushroom, potent abilities. But... 
I don't know that we have that either. We're going to need to find some more shroomers. Forest Camphrey, we've already identified. Fox Button. An offering of Fox Button is considered by some to represent a contract of friendship between strangers. Thick, shiny leaves grow in opposite pairs along the stems. Opposite pairs. Are they thick and shiny? It smells of nothing that I can detect. Blue flowers. Stiff leaves. Thick, shiny leaves. Thick. Small leaves. That's not thick. Leaves are coarse. <laughs> Which one of you has thick, shiny leaves? Be honest. Reveal yourself. It, it really could be this one. Opposite pair. They're fairly thick. And it does look kind of shiny. Let me give that a maybe. This could be Fox Button. It may not be. I feel like we're going to start to get some process of elimination, right? Like, over time, we're going to identify more things that are definitely. Thick could be stiff. Yeah, maybe they're stiff because they're thick. That's fair. Purple for probably, safe flower, red for dangerous, yellow for certain. Yeah, that's what I've been doing, Wildo Market. Yeah, red for dangerous, purple for some unknowns, yellow for definite and safe. Yep. Gandy root. Apis demisis. A plant with medicinal properties that can aid with digestive troubles when prepared correctly. Care must be taken, however, as the rough leaves can be an irritant. Only the petals are safe for consumption. Single sweet smelling dark flower. I assume that if we find it, it's going to say something about the leaves. And I'm assuming that this is at least partly accurate. The image, that is. The leaves are coarse to the touch. Coarse. This is probably our plant. Coarse and irritating are at least adjacent. Let's look around to see if anything else pops out. Wonderful smelling cream colored flowers. Cool. Single pink flower that smells pleasant. Oh, it's got thorns on the stem. That's interesting. You would think that would be mentioned. If that were our dude guy. I suspect that this is our gandy root. Let's give it the purple. Purple treatment. Gilded Dendra, do not drink the sap of this plant. Right? It's a dangerous and deadly plant. Poison is so potent that even touching the leaves of the plant can be painful. Touching the leaves. A scent that scratches at the back of my throat. It's not clear that we own this yet. I mean, it is a deadly and poisonous plant. We may not. We may not. We may not have it yet. Harlequin blue. When the bushy blue flower heads die back, they release seeds with a downy pappus, which assists in wind dispersal. Once dried and hardened, the stems can be burned as incense. As they burn, they let out high-pitched shrieks. Widely believed to be the spirits of dead souls trapped within the plant. Bushy blue flower head. Bushy. Not, yeah, bushy. I mean, if this weren't lemon dandy. Oh, it's maybe this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's the, there's that base that will contain the, the pampas.
This is looking like our Harlequin blue. All right, we're going to stick to the, the purple situation. I mean, we're, what we're really doing is we're using this evening to prepare for work tomorrow, which is a good practice. We're doing our homework. Harlequin blue is your favorite so far? A screaming plant? It's kind of wild, right? Isn't that dangerous plant we have with the red, the one you talked about? This red fruit, long flat leaves. It could be our gilded dendra. We know that this is dangerous at least, but there there is more than one toxic plant in this game. So I'm hesitant to label this as gilded dendra, given that this says touching the leaves of the plant can be painful. I would like this to say touching the leaves is painful, right? Like that should be something that we observe when we touch it. So I'm, I'm hesitant. I'm hesitant. Lady of Summer. I think that's this one we picked up. The leaves curl around delightfully, which combined with an attractive flower and a hardy nature, make this a sought after ornamental plant. Aids with condition of memory deterioration associated with old age. Oh, think about it. I began my recovery in the woods to the south of the town with a group of travelers. On the northeast corner of the wood, I sat and stared at a bright flower and tears flowed down my face at the reminder that there is beauty in this world. Now, this is a little loosey-goosey, but it does indicate to me that perhaps this spurred their memory, right? Like some of their jadedness was because the memory of good and beautiful things was fading. It's a loose connection, but it's enough. It's enough. It's enough. The flower matches. I think that's Our Lady of Summer. The leaves curl round delightfully. Attractive flower indicates to pistol, stamen. I never remember which is which. I think that's our, I think that's our dude guy. <laughs> I'm going to give, I, I'm so hesitant to do definite, but like, this is Lady of Summer. This is our clearest match so far. Yeah, for sure. It def we definitely know that this is dangerous. Will the market agree? Lemon Dandy, we've already identified. Mary's Breath. The wide, waxy leaves allow this plant to collect a large amount of water it requires. This one. It is said that a person can be bound to secrecy using Mary's Breath. It used to grow in the royal gardens so that the king could ensure the trust of his confidants, but the practice fell out of favor. I think this one. It did seem to take a lot of water. The veined leaves have a waxy finish, and look how they turn in, as if little cupulas to collect the water, right? This wide waxy, waxy finish, wide, allow the plant to collect water. I think that's it. I'm, I am going to give that one a purple, and we're going to, like, be sure. We're going to check other things, but I, I think that that's our plant. See if there's anything else that has wide, waxy leaves that might be collecting water. This can't be because they're draped down and out, right? No water collection happening there. What's this? That's cool. I like the look of that flower. I mean, all roads lead to... All roads lead here. I do wish it said something about the flower. Oh! Mellow Glow. Among the other uses for this plant, the most remarkable is that it can allow a person to pass unnoticed. Though not invisible, it's possible to become hidden from sight and memory. The mellow glow has sharp thorns that protect it from predators. Well, we have at least one plant with sharp thorns. We've seen them. Along the stem of this one. It's the only plant with thorns that we have 
Nothing else about it matches. But it's a maybe? Maybe? Exactly, like someone, yeah, it's like marking corners in Sudoku, exactly. Yeah, you know, it's a good point made by chat that the thorns aren't incredibly similar. These thorns seem to be large and curved, whereas these thorns are very short, right? Yeah, we can look around at our other stuff, see if anybody else has some thorns hiding, and maybe we just don't have this plant yet. That's probably our loosest connection so far, right? Surely, surely this is not the only plant in the world with thorns. <laughs> I think we can say that with some amount of confidence. We will find other thorned plants in the future. Wren. The long leaves of the wren are known to turn black in the presence of certain poisons, and so can be used to detect them. Though it has no flower, it's said to smell unpleasant to those who have known death, sweet to those who have not. No flower, long leaves, and a scent that scratches at the back of my throat. That is probably it. See if anybody else looks correct. We may have learned something about our protagonist. No flower. No flower. No flower, which we don't have much of, huh? This is a flowering plant store, and these are not long leaves. Okay. Probably you. St. John's Poppy was our first. Wandering View we recently used. Winterbore. Also known as Blue Aloe or Blue Winter after its cool blue-gray flowers, Winterbore is a hardy plant, often found growing in extreme cold environments. The rubbery leaves often make an effective insect repellent when applied to skin. Cool blue-gray flowers Hardy plant, rubbery leaves. Stiff, rubbery. Blue gray? Question mark? <laughs> Maybe. If any of our plants are winter boar, I guess it's that one. Winterbore? We've gone through all of the pages we have so far. I mean, I definitely feel that we've advanced as a horticulturalist. We have put in the effort this evening to learn and to grow and to improve. And I think we've earned rest. And if we wake up and this wandering view is no longer under the watering can, then that'll be cool to see. We already know that it's Wandering View, but it'll still be cool. A deck of cards. Ooh. It started when she found something. Something that she was not meant to find. A book tucked away in a forgotten corner of the Ambleside Library. Row H... The Third River. Row H. Third River. Oh, we got to keep the card. Okay, so I don't have to remember it. Row H. First River. Second River. Third River. Whoa. Whoa. A dead deer in the river, yellowed bone protruding from matted hide and rotten flesh. Death for one provides life for many. New plant acquired. Wait, it looks so much like the Lady of Summer. Oh no, but it doesn't have the curled leaves. It doesn't have the curled leaves. It's different. 
The dark blue petals are soft and feathery to the touch. My fingers ache from handling this plant. Oh. Oh. Hold up. Hold up one minute. Even touching the leaves of the plant can be painful. It could be gilded dendra. But there was something else that said, the leaves ache, but the rest is good. Ah, is it this? A plant with medicinal properties? Care must be taken as the rough leaves can be an irritant. Only the petals are safe for consumption. Is this gandy root? Soft and feathery petals, fingers ache from handling this plant. The plot thickens. Something, something cycle of life. Yeah, I guess so. Did the mushrooms move? You're right. <laughs> there they go. There they go. You love to see it. Oh, is this perhaps the winter boar? Is this perhaps the winter boar? Ooh, good thinking. Also known as blue aloe or blue winter after its cool blue-gray flowers, hardy plant often found growing in extreme cold environments. I mean, it was in a river. It was an extreme environment. It was a, it was a dead deer. Rubberly leaves make an effective insect repellent when applied to the skin, but my fingers shouldn't ache. We'll come back to that. This is... Fingers ache from, from handling it. careful if handling it makes the fingers ache then this is dangerous let's do this day thing Isidore Burbage bring me a sample of Apis Demisis and be quick about it that damn cat is setting off my allergies shouldn't have an animal in a shop like this yes I'm very excited to uh, work for you. You have such a pleasant and endearing affect, but you must be struggling with something, especially since you're using the scientific name and you're not giving me any reasons. Apis demisis. I remember reading it, but I don't remember under what. Gandy root. Medicinal properties that can aid with digestive troubles when prepared correctly. Care must be taken, as the rough leaves can be an irritant. Only the petals are safe for consumption. We have two potentials for Gandy Root. One of which we marked earlier. It's this one. And one that we just picked up. The question is, which is it? One of them might be Gilded Dendra. <laughs> we definitely don't want to accidentally cure this man with death. Leaves are coarse. The flower seems to match. Leaves can be an irritant. Petals are safe. But remember, we don't know that this is a perfect look at what the flower is. Dark blue petals are soft and feathery to the touch. My fingers ache from handling this plant. Apis demisis. It's also got this curvaceous approach, which this matches actually. Look at that. Soft and feathery petals. Only the petals are safe for consumption. I think it's this. I think this is not gandy root. The leaves are coarse, but it doesn't say that they're irritating, just that they're coarse. It matches the picture almost, but it doesn't match the curve of the stem. It's just this. This is so, like, look at that. It's the same. 
But actually, is it? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, no. It is it's it is five petals on this picture. That's kind of annoying because in terms of matching the description, this is our plant. But in terms of matching the image, this is our plant. But the game did say explicitly, the image may not be useful. The image may not be useful. <laughs> 